one time I had a one night stand. Uh, what happened was I met this girl at a party and, uh, and we started talking and I, and I said things and then she said things and I also said more things and she said also, also things. And it, it, was going, yeah, it was going pretty well, it's all like in syn synchronisation, not like some sort of ocean nightmare. And uh, yeah, it was, going, it was going pretty well and you know, she seemed to really, really like me. And, you know, and, I, and I thought she was okay, so I invited her back to, to my house to watch Doomsday Crackers. <laughs> It's pretty good. Just watch Americans just go, go about showing all the food they have and to be smug when everything dies. It's amazing. It's my favourite thing. So we, so we get back to mine, I put the Doomsday Crackers on, and then she starts kissing, kissing me. And I'm a bit annoyed because I genuinely did want to watch Doomsday Crackers. <laughs> So I start kissing the back, and then she takes all of her clothes off. So I, I also take my clothes off because it would have been awkward otherwise. And then, you know, and then, and then, sort of like I'm on top of her, and like I'm on na I'm naked, and I've got an erection. And she looks me in the eyes, and she says, uh, are "You are gonna fuck me?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, um, yeah, okay, okay, I, 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 I can do that. Um, should I get a condom?" And she said, no, it's okay, I'm on the pill. Now, there's not a lot of things you can say to that, you know, you can't be like, yeah, but eight, you know? <laughs> but, what a trooper I am, I've got my purple head meat hammer, and I dove it in there, I went in, and I went out, then I went in again, and then I went out again, you know, you know what happens, you're in the loop. Yeah, you need to explain it. And, uh, yeah, and I was having a good time. I was enjoying myself. I was sort of thinking, hey, sort of having casual sex, you know? I, don't, I, don't, I literally don't know this girl, and I put my penis inside her. It's amazing. It's like I'm a player or something. You know, smiling, pumping away. And, and then, but then, the, but then the thought set in, and yeah, and uh, you know, and then, you know, and all I can think about is like, hey, Tom. Could be getting genital warts. <laughs> Tom! Could be getting chlamydia. <laughs> Tom, you could wake up and your dick's blown up like a rancid eggplant. <laughs> and you squeeze it and it oozes out like a, like a bloody cheese sauce. <laughs> and I imagine to the surprise of no one in this room, I couldn't come. <laughs> I tried. I really, really tried. I was just pumping away, just sweating profusely, using it like a flashlight, just, just trying desperately to, to, to But, you know, because I didn't want to get AIDS and not come. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? I tired, I tired for a long time. My bus both being out of breath and miserable. I gave up. I, I, I didn't even like sort of pretend to come. I just went, ah, fuck it. <laughs> and then she cried for two hours. And that's why you always wear a condom. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for amazing. <laughs>